The time will come when diligent research over long periods will bring to light things which now lie hidden. A single lifetime, even though entirely devoted to the sky, would not be enough for the investigation of so vast a subject. And so, this knowledge will be unfolded only through long successive ages. There will come a time when our descendants will be amazed that we did not know things that are so plain to them. Many discoveries are reserved for ages still to come, when memory of us will have been effaced. It is not that we have so little time, but that we lose so much. The life we receive is not short, but we make it so. We are not ill provided, but use what we have wastefully. No man was ever wise by chance. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if it were all well invested. But when it is wasted in heedless luxury and spent on no good activity, we are forced at last by death's final constraint to realize that it has passed away before we knew it was passing. So it is. We are not given a short life, but we make it short, and we are not ill supplied, but wasteful of it. Life is long if you know how to use it. Were all the geniuses of history to focus on this single theme, they could never fully express their bafflement at the darkness of the human mind. No person would give up even an inch of their estate, and the slightest dispute with a neighbor can mean hell to pay. Yet we easily let others encroach on our lives. Worse, we often pave the way for those who will take it over. No person hands out their money to passers-by, but to how many do each of us hand out our lives? We're tight, fisted with property and money, yet think too little of wasting time the one thing about which we should all be the toughest misers.